This is where America's condemned come to die. For decades, lethal injection has been the dominant technique. It's death by medicine. Using drugs that you normally find here. But now this medicalization of the death penalty is in trouble. I've been an anesthesiologist for 20 years. I've performed thousands of anesthetics. Clearly, medicine is not intended to be used to facilitate execution. It's not made for that. It never has been. Right now, states are scrambling to find new cocktails of drugs that kill. It's not always going to plan. Midazolam was involved in all three of this year's botched executions. The state has taken these drugs and are now repurposing them for execution. Some states may use this one. Some states may use a combination of this one and this one. This is hydromorphone. This is midazolam. This is a drug that paralyzes. It may be some combination of these things. Joel Zivert isn't the only doctor who objects. The American Board of Anesthesiologists bans its members from getting involved in executions. So does the American Medical Association. Meanwhile, the EU's intervention is leading more and more drug companies to say, don't use our products to kill. Now, some states are resorting to getting their drugs in secret. None of these things were ever created for the purposes of killing. And the reason why they don't kill easily is because that's not how they're made. They're not made to kill. So the drugs often don't work. The doctors don't want any part of it. And the suppliers don't really want to supply. So what now? Well, at this point, the story takes us from the world of medicine to the world of laws. In 2007, the Supreme Court ruled in favor of the old lethal injection cocktail, saying it did not break the Constitution's bar on cruel and unusual punishment. But what if these botched executions now lead to new legal challenges? I, I do think there must be drugs out there that, uh, that can work uh, safely and, and cleanly. And if there's not, uh, then it's time to use another method. Here at the Libertarian Cato Institute, a leading constitutional lawyer supports the death penalty. He says there are plenty of options. There are many methods of capital punishment that are constitutional. As long as you're not torturing the person to death, it's okay. Possible methods include the gas chamber, the electric chair, firing squad, hanging. Again, as long as you're not torturing the person while you're imposing this punishment, the Constitution says that's okay. For some, this whole discussion is beside the point. Jeannie Brown witnessed the two-hour execution of the man who murdered her father and sister. So everybody here, from what I heard, said it was excruciating. You don't know what excruciating is. What's excruciating is seeing your dad lying there in a pool of blood, seeing your sister lying there in a pool of blood. That's excruciating. But for Joel Zivert, what matters is getting all this out of the process. I have no comment on capital punishment, nor do I have a comment on other methods of execution. I'm not an executioner, I'm not an expert in killing. All I do know is that lethal injection in its present form is an illusion. It creates an artificial impression of, of, of a humane death. It is never, it will never be that.